Oh, someone else is coming. It's Marlene! Marlene, you want to join the party? <laughs> She's partying hard now. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die and Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make ourselves a water well. That is the plan. Uh, so I did some mining. Let's see. Last episode, we went to the desert, and then I came back home and uh, basically mined the whole night. Didn't even get harassed by the zombies for the first time in, like, forever. And so, yeah, we managed to uh, make pretty good progress. So let's see. We have... A total of um, 65 iron plating plus another 11 iron ingots. A bunch more lead, too. And we have quite a bit of sulfur powder that we've been able to, to make as well. And so what we want to do uh, today, like I said, uh, for starters, is make the water well. And then we'll go do another quest. Uh, possibly our first tier 3 quest later on in this episode. That is the plan. Anyways, we'll see if it actually works out that way okay so um let's take a look here and this is what we want to make with a water well so we're gonna need including modded huh all right we're gonna need to make another shovel all right so let's grab uh, 20 of these it's gonna take 20 of those plus whatever else it wants it's gonna probably want a handle too right so let's take a look here a uh, handle to, here, why do I do that? Let's just pin it. It's so much easier that way. <laughs> it's so much easier that way. Okay, so for the handle, we need three boards and one glue. In fact, you know what? Let's take all those boards because we're also going to need... Oh, actually, here, let's do it. We're going to need 60 boards in total, right? And then we're going to need three more for the handle. There we go. And then uh, let's grab ourselves some glue from our parts bin. And we'll get that handle going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I guess we only need one glue. Okay, that's even better. Leaves us a glue left over for some duct tape or something later on. There's our handle. Okay, so uh, we need two leather and two duct tape. Two duct tape there, two leather here. There we go. Okay, let's get the shovel made. And then uh, we're going to need 20 more of these, so grab those. We're going to need another two duct tape. The nice thing about this is once we get this made, we're not going to have to worry about trying to get water from faucets and all that crap anymore because we'll just be able to get it right from our well. Uh, okay, put uh, those, whoops, uh, put those there and grab the handle out of here. Wait a minute. What did I just do with the handle? Oh, no. Hold on. That was the shovel, right? Okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay. Let's go back to the well, and we'll pin that. Okay. So this is what we're looking for. We're going to need five wood. We're going to need 15 scrap iron. And we're going to need a bucket. So that requires another five of these. Okay, let's make the bucket. It'll take 10 seconds. While we're waiting on that, uh, actually we're doing pretty good on food and water, so I don't think we need to eat any more food and water. And once we get that done, then we should have everything we need to make our water well okay so just so i don't accidentally screw something up i'm gonna put this um g grade shovel in here and you know so so the game doesn't actually you know accidentally use that while we're making it all right so let's go over to the trader uh, do i have anything to sell let's take a quick look at that i do not okay Let's go over to the trader, get the next quest, and then we'll stop by our workbench and get our water well made. And then we'll go do that quest. Here we go. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
And time for us to start our first tier 3 quest. I hope to God we don't die. Hey, be quick about your business. I'm being quick. Okay. Tier 3. Uh, wow. Okay, he's only got one clear in this town. Everything else is like a bazillion miles away. Restore power at farm clear at bungalow house. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, this is a clear, unfortunately. Uh, what do we got in here? Mm, uh, really anything we need. Okay. Hey, they don't reset till day 21, which is tomorrow. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is the same stuff he's had all along. Okay. Very well. Okay, let's go to our crafting bench, or sorry, our workbench, and we'll make our water well. We'll get that sucker set down, and then we'll go do our quest. It seems to me like probably most of the POIs in this town are tier one and tier two POIs. I really, I'm, I'm kind of bummed, you know. Honest, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit bummed that we didn't, that the second opening trade routes didn't net us a city um but it didn't you know so whatever we just do what we can do okay i don't think we'll have repops in here quite yet let's make ourselves a water well ladies and gentlemen boom okay so now what is the next thing we want to make we want to get um we need the tier two what does that require Large iron storage. Okay, I don't think we'll be making stuff like that until we get to our permanent location. Uh, but anyway, we need to make the tier two research table, but we need 20 books for that. And I think I only have three on hand at the moment. Um, we could make some Molotovs. Do, 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 do. A whole barrel? What? No. That, what? A whole gasoline barrel you got to be kidding me or is that an empty barrel uh that's weird i don't know i don't understand what's going on there um yeah so we need to, we need these books in order to um make that tier two because that's really kind of what's holding us up at this point is so we got to get that tier two going small safe research station primitive water well Right. Just trying to see. Okay, I think everything this direction we can't make yet because we don't know it. We already have the maintenance. We already have the mechanics. We already have the artisan's table. That really takes an entire gasoline can, huh? I Hopefully we get more than just one bottle from that. We've... Uh, it's got to give us, like, multiple if it's going to be an entire gas can, right? Don't you think? I don't know. That seems weird. We'll have to try it at some point and just see what it does. Um. So, yeah, we're pretty much, there's not much else we can do until we get 20 books so we can make that freaking artisans, or not artisans, I mean, uh, tier two research table. Okay, let's go back home, and we're going to uh, put our water well down. I would imagine the game will want us to put that down just on the ground, and we can't put it up on the roof. But let's just see what happens. And then from here on out, ladies and gentlemen, we do not have to carry empty jars and glasses or uh, plastic bottles around with us to get water because we'll have a well. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Okay, let's park right here. Uh, we're going to put our water well here. And... Okay, so it will let us put it down here. Well, it will actually let us put it on the roof. Let's look. Where in the hell? Oh, it is going to let us put it up here. Look at that. Nice. Okay, there we go. Primitive water well gathering. So 5%, 6%. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, very cool. All right, so let, we'll just pretend like the well actually goes all the way down through the building, <laughs> building and underground there. Uh, we're going to run with this, man, because i tell you what. You know, last night, quite literally, I am not exaggerating, you guys. Last night was the first 
night since I started playing this game with maybe the first two nights, actually, that we were not harassed by a wandering incoming horde. It was just wonderful. I couldn't believe it. Uh, we were able to mine all night in our mind without any harassment at all. So that is just amazing. And and the, the reason I'm pointing that out is, is I don't want to put this down on the ground because then, you know, then we have to fight zombies to get to it. So if it could be right here for us, I'm not going to complain, man. I'll tell you what, I am not going to complain. All right, let's do this. Let's grab... Uh, we should start making drinking water from these and cooking water in the jars. Okay, I think that's what we need to start doing. So let's... um. Yeah, let's drink one of these. And let's just see. It's 68%. Let's let it get all the way up and we'll see how many of these we can fill up with 100% charge on this well. Okay, so it looks like it gives four charges per, I guess we'll call it two minute cycle. Okay, okay. Now that I understand that, we let's just let it fully charge because, I mean, we have water for the time being. And is that... Oh, you know one thing I do want to find out, though? Is this going to give us dirty water? Yes, it does give dirty water. Okay. You'd think, you know, if you're doing a fresh well that's dug underground... Not that we dug it ourselves, but that's beside the point. Uh, you know, would give us clean water, but apparently that's not how the mod works. But that's not a bad thing, though, actually, now that I think about it, because we are going to want murky water for making glue, right? Let's look. What's the recipes on this? Yeah, we need murky water for, well, for all of this stuff here, I guess. But apparently not for making glue. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Nevertheless... We do want murky water. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Since we know we can get murky water now from the well, we're going to take all the murky wa water that we currently have, and we are going to go batshit crazy on just making fresh water. Because why not, right? Why not? Let's do it. Okay, we'll put you in here. We'll put you in here. I grabbed those extra because that was what we needed, I think, for the shovel or something like that. Okay, that still gives us 40, or, or leaves us rather, 40 more iron plating left over. All right, you guys, I think that's all we can do until we come up with 20 books. Well, actually, let's see, we have three books, so we need 17 more books to make the level two research station. And until we do that, we're pretty much at a standstill. We can't make anything more. So let's get out there and start looking for books. What the hell did I do with my bike? It's back over this way. We're going to stop back off at Bud's Bar or whatever the hell that place was we did in the last episode and get that munitions crate because I never actually got back to that. Uh, so we're going to do that first, and then we'll go do this uh, Tier 3 quest. And God help us, I hope we don't die. Actually, no, we don't want to go this way. We want to go this way. We got a chicken. Really? Where? Wait, where did he go? Oh, he went. He, oh, there he is. Okay. Shh. Hey, he's on our horde base. <laughs> he's going into our horde base. Okay, hold on. Oh, man, he went down into the horde base. That's stupid chicken. Okay. Let's just go over here. All right, now we saw a munitions crate, right? Didn't we see a munitions crate? Yeah, right here. No, that's not a munitions crate. That's a freaking... <laughs> A sideways desk. Oh crap! I, you know, I, when I looked at that the first time around, I just kind of looked at it, at it out the corner of my eye. Oh, for Pete's sake! Okay, we've been trolled. My eyes trolled me. All right, can we get this chicken? Let's go around this way. So 
Sneaky sneak. Okay, we know the chicken came into this area, so unless he went out that way, he's still got to be back here somewhere. I would think. Anybody see a chicken? I'm looking for a chicken. I guess he could have gone in here, right? All right, where in the hell did that chicken go? There he is. Is he stuck? Doesn't matter, because he's dead now. All right, give us our arrow back. Excellent. Okay, we killed ourselves chicken. We don't have to worry about gathering water any longer, except for I brought 61 water bottles with me. Holy crap. Okay, well, those can't be that heavy, though, right? Oh, my goodness. They are they are adding some weight to us. They're like the second heaviest thing in our freaking inventory. All right, you know what? I'm going to go put these back. I'll meet you guys at the quest location. Don't go away. Okay, here we are. Uh, yeah, I've done this house actually many times. We just hope, hopefully there isn't going to be like a mutant guy in there. That's all. Who's coming after us? It's uh, Hawaii Five-0. All right. Let's get down here a little ways and we'll deal with Hawaii Five-0. All right, we got we got him taken care of. Oh, someone else is coming. It's Marlene. Marlene, you want to join the party? <laughs> She's partying hard now. All right, let's turn around. Okay, let's check the mailbox. Nice, we need uh, 16 more of those. Let's check this. Okay, we'll take that. Now, you can actually dig down here because uh, the fat loots are right underneath here, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to double loot the fat loots. I don't do that anymore. I used to, but I don't because, you know, it's kind of cheese. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay. But what we will do is do just a quick double loot of some of this stuff that's really easy to get to right here. And let's grab our shovel, which guess who doesn't have his shovel with him? That was smart. Son of a bitch. Really? I don't have my shovel with me. I really don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> We don't have the shovel. Let's deal with Edgar here because he's going to be a pain in our ass otherwise. Come here, big boy. Quit zigging and zagging. Running in a straight line so I can shoot you because my potato aim won't let me do anything better than that. Bonk. Uh, oh shit. Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go. I'm glad that happened before we started the quest or we would have failed it. Man, I'll tell you what, I and I've mentioned this already more than once. Freaking wandering hordes in this mod are just brutal. Looks like that one just had a couple though, fortunately. <sighs> okay. Come on, Steve. Oh. 
Son of a bitch. Man, that Edgar is running super fast. Does he have feral? I don't know. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I want to find out. Son of a bitch, man. That guy is just cranking. How in the hell does someone so fat run so fast? I just don't get it. We got a bunny. He's running into the grass so we can't see him very well. Come on, bunny. Oh, for Pete's sake, every time I release the arrow, he moves. Dude, seriously? Oh, <laughs> he fell down in the hole. All right, no, we're not going down there. Okay, let's let's get let's get to the business at hand here. Too much uh, distraction going on. Too much distraction going on. Okay, before we do this, it just occurred to me that we have some points to spend. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we actually have three perk points to spend. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to put a point in strength that gives us an effective level 3, even though it doesn't show that. So I guess we have to come back out and come back in. Wait, what? Why does that say 2? Are we not wearing our cigar? We are wearing our cigar. What the hell, man? That should be 3. I don't understand why it's not. Hmm... This does give us an extra point of strength, doesn't it? Strength plus one. Okay. Did I not actually take it? I, oh, I must not have actually taken it. Okay. Or no, I put it in... What? What the hell, man? I put it in fortitude, did it? What did I put it in? I put it in perception. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm like, my brain's not quite firing on all cylinders. Well, you know what? Since we put that in percept... Well, no, let's go back to strength. Okay, so now we have an effective three. This this is not a waste. I mean, it isn't because we want to get our archery up and a couple other things too eventually. So um, I would have preferred to put it in here because I wanted to put a couple things in strength. But why don't we put a point in Skull Crusher since we're using our sledge so much. We're going to put another point in Sexy T. We're going to put another point in 69er. Uh, we're going to want, eventually, points in Machine Gunner. But these two, you know, uh, because the, the uh, Sledgehammers are our main melee weapon, we're going to really zero in on these two. Because um, now that we have an effective three, we can put another point in here and another point in... Uh, no, sorry. Another point in here another point in there. Okay. That's got three charges, but you know what? We don't care because we have our own well. All right, let's get to, let's get bu busy here, man. What the hell? I am like just totally getting sidetracked, aren't I? Okay, let's go up here. All right, guys. So this is a tier three. This is our first tier three quest. And oh shit. Okay, we got Skull Crusher now. Let's just see who's coming after us. It's a businessman, and he's kind of derping, which is. Okay with me if we can kind of get a cheese shot on him. There's probably somebody in there too, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. Okay, here. This is bullshit. Let's go. Oh, no, don't be doing the... <laughs> Come here, yo. We got Skull Crusher level one now, baby. Off with your head. Okay, let's get this. One bone. You know, that was worth it for that one single bone. Absolutely was worth it. Let's grab this. And uh, anything behind here? Nope. Okay, let's go into here. Grab this. That door is locked. Okay, let's make sure everybody's loaded here, by the way. 
that's all the ammo we got for that thing. This only holds four rounds, really? That sucks. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think we're gonna have some Zikaruskis in here. Is this this is a clear, right? Yeah. There's a Zika Ruski. Sounds like there's a couple Zika Ruskis. Alright. There's three. Holy shit. Okay. Let's upgrade that at least one to one level. Ah, I love it, man. I love it. You dead. Alright, so we got uh, zombie bow there in crouch mode. Man, I hate that. I really hate that. Have I told that to you guys? I just hate it when they go into crouch mode. Absolutely sucks. Alright, so... Um, see, the thing is, I can climb up there and hit him, but he's going to just... Oh, what if we do that? Will he stand up now? Hmm. Okay, let's just do it that way. 762 rounds and some painkillers. Okay, cool. Alright, let's bust the sucker out. One more. Pick up the light. We need books, man. We completely and totally need books. None of that was books. Okay, let's go up here. Um, let's take one of those because our health is down a bit. I think you know, our armor's in actually in, in pretty good shape, though, so. All right, what's going to happen in here? I have two dots on the radar. Anybody we can, yeah, we can sneaky sneak this guy. Beautiful. Okay, let's uh, remove these triggers. Someone in that closet over there. Yeah, maybe? No? It must be a little bit deeper in. Okay, let's get this ready. Shh, don't make any noise. Okay. Sneak, sneak. I love it. Okay, let's grab this. Come on, books. We need books. We need books. We need books. We need books. All right. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here to loot. Let's just grab this real quick. And down the stairs we go. Okay, there's a crawler down there. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and get this guy first. Okay, he did. All right, now... Let's look in this room. Yeah, this room is clear up to this point. That door is locked. Backpack. Nice! Some pipe bombs, baby! We so need those. The only reason I don't have them yet is because we need the freaking Kimbit so we can make gunpowder. I already know how to make those. We found the schematic for a while back. 
Oh, uh, all right. Let's do this. Break that away. Okay, nobody's going to come through there immediately, so we're good to go. We're going to have to go through this room here. That being the case, let's get some leather. A little sports bag action. Uh, okay, we'll take all that. Now, can we pop open this to see if there's any undesirables in there? <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. Where's that coming from? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Come get me, bro. There you go. That's exactly what I want you to do. That's a good zombie. We'll give you a little bit of that action, too. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. I love it. Let's go in here. Zombos? Yeah, no zombos in there. Don't have to worry about loot and seeks anymore. So we're good to go there. Check this out. Bet you there's some zombos in there. Let's take a look. Spider Zombo. We're getting better, you guys. We are getting better at whoops at our archery. Marlene, take some of that. Okay, what you got, Mink? Okay, not too bad. 420 bucks. That's not bad at all, actually. We'll take it. Okay, schematic time uh, and book time. Oh, okay, we need to learn this, you guys. We seriously need to learn that. I'm going to scrap that. We'll probably come across that actual mod at some point. I almost always do. So let's get the point. Let's get the research points. That's always the decision in this mod, isn't it? Research points or get the actual thing. All right. So we've kind of cleared this part of the room already. Let's grab that. Grab this. Let's get our arrows back. Nice. Got a little thing there, and a little thing there, and a little thing there. Okay. And a little thing here. Now, doesn't this place have a landmine in it? You used to sit, like, right there on the floor. Did they take it out? I don't see a landmine anywhere. They must have taken it out. Okay. Oh, nice. We got some food and some drink there. What does this got? Sandwich. Little honey action. Uh, we will take some coffee. Uh, yeah, let's put it in here. Could have. I could have sworn this place used to have a landmine in it. In fact, I'm almost positive it did. Like back in Alpha, what, 19, 18, something like that? We already looked in there, didn't we? All right, I think we're done in the kitchen. It That just goes outside, so let's head on downstairs. Anybody we can sneaky sneak? That guy is... Oh, he's awake. Okay, let's go back here for a second. Okay, let's get our stamina back. Uh, stamina back. Hello. There we go. Really? That didn't kill you? He is so close to being killed. She's killed. Bonk. All right, we're good. Uh, I think that's the crawler, that red dot there. Here he is. Come on, bud. Wait a minute. What you gonna do, Mink? 
Bonk. Okay, he's bonked. All right. Uh, Timber some more damage against coyotes. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. Let's learn it. Little trash action. Uh, okay, let's check in here. Check this. Get the couches. Little secret area here. Some samba doodles in here. That roof is too low for there to be zombies up there, with maybe the exception of a crawler. Why can't I get that inside there? I don't know. All right, let's put it there for the moment. I don't see anything blocking it. Okay, let's check these. Lucky goggles plus four. Nice. That was worth the price of admission, ladies and gentlemen. Um, all right, so here, let's grab these and we're going to wear those. And we are now wearing level four or plus four, I should say, lucky goggles. I love it. Here, we, we don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was really good. Let's grab this trash up here, and there's something up here. Moldy backpack. All right. Okay, we're going to have a couple more Zeeks to take care of in here. There's a dot over that way. Lock this door here. Yes. Okay, let's loot in here real quick. Nice. 77 brass, scrap brass. That's not bad. We need books, though, man. We totally need books. Pick this up. Whoops. Try it again. Machine gun parts, nice. Okay, sneaky sneak time. That's not quite what I had in mind, but okay. Um, let's get this upgraded here. How many of you are there? For Pete's sake, there's four. Oh crap, okay, here, keep this upgraded. All right, let's do a sweep. Okay, upgrade. Or not upgrade, repair, I should say. Nice. Give me my arrow back, Holmes. Out of stamina. Oh, man. Do we have any coffee? Here, we have this. Let's use this. Must have accidentally put the coffee back in the in the thingamadoodle. Back at the base. Oh shit. Get that upgraded. Okay. Alright, just one left. Sledgehammer sandwich for you, buddy. Here, let's knife you. He did. Okay. Return to Trader. We did it. Our first tier three. We didn't die. I know it's a miracle, but we didn't die.
Okay, let's loot. Nothing in there. Some duct tape. Always good. Always good. Uh, this here. And this here. And then the fat loots are back here. Okay, we got this. We got this. That. Let's open the crack a book. We want this for sure. Absolutely want that. This, we're going to scrap. Uh, because we just don't have any reason to make a wooden bow since we already have a compound bow. Scrap that. Take those. And then, oh, that's right. These are locked. I forgot about that. The tier three quests or, or chests are locked. And we don't have a shovel, so we're going to have to go back out the long way. Can we open this? Oh, are you shitting me? Really? How many hit points? All right, you guys. I'll see you in 10,000 years. Unbelievable. No way. This is going to take so long. No fucking way am I going to spend that much time trying to break that open. Ain't going to happen. Ah, I feel like we got ripped off. All right, you know what? We're only doing tier two and tier one quests from, for, for, until we get our lock picking back up. All right, we are back at the trader. Let's do the turn in. Let's see what we get. Beware. Well, I lost the bet on this one. All right, that's worth 509 coin. We're taking it. You know what, too? That's a steel spear. Yeah, we might hang on to that and just try it a little bit. Okay, let's see. Tier 3. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. Tier 3 quests. Here's the thing. In vanilla, you can always pick the lock, right? And you just have the random chance of opening it. But in this mod, unless you have already leveled up your lock picking, you can't really effectively get the end loot. It's just not going to happen. Who wants to sit there for probably what will take 10 minutes in real life to open those damn things by trying to break it? I'm I'm not going to do it. I don't have that I don't have that much time. So that means we're going to have to go back to Tier 2 and keep working Tier 2s for a while. Ah, oh, that sucks, though. It really does. Uh, we got to fetch and clear at this Gambrel house. we got to clear at Bungalow House 6. Uh, that is that where our... You to help me, I'll pay for your services. Uh, is that where our... Uh, whatchamacallit is? I don't know. Yeah, let's just take that. When, uh, whatchamacallit as in our workbench. If it is, I'm not, you know, I'll cancel it. I won't take it. Okay, let's see. We got a little bit of coin. Actually, before we spend money on food, because I do have eggs and bacon and that sort of thing. Do you want something? Let's see what you got. Oh, you don't have anything yet because, right, we still haven't reset. Okay. I need some 5.62s for my other rifle. Are you finished? I'm finished. All right, well... That's a little disappointing. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was just a little bit disappointed that we couldn't get to the end loot on the tier three. So, and, and the other, you know, the other bad thing, guys, is it doesn't look like there, we have a whole lot of choices for tier threes in this town anyways. Everything that's here is tier one and tier two. So, oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Well, we, we got to get out of here. We really do. I do not want to spend the whole rest of our playthrough in this town because there's just not enough here for us. But so far, you know, we haven't found um, a better place. I mean, the two opening trade routes that we've gone to, one led us to the snow and the other one led us to the desert. Neither place we want to really live in, uh, at least not at this point. So, okay, well, we'll just keep on keeping on, and hopefully, you know, um, things will will look up for us uh, as, we, as we continue on here. So we're still looking for books. Let's... Um, Let's put that in there. Okay, so we have, we need another 15 bucks before we can make the Tier 2 research station because that's what's holding us up is getting that thing. So we'll just keep going out and about and looking for stuff. Uh, it is day 20, um, so I'll, I'll probably just take the rest of this afternoon off and do the usual 
you know, gather resources, that sort of thing. Uh, I might go back into some of the POIs we've already cleared and just get, you know, some of the resources out of there. Or maybe I'll go mining. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we don't have any more points to spend, do we? Not yet. Okay. And then uh, tomorrow will be day 21. There isn't really a whole lot more I can do with the horde base at this point. I think it's as good as it's going to get. And my goodness, I hope it holds up for us on horde 21. Um, and, you know, we'll just do the best we can with that. Okay, so... Uh, I might not bring you guys back until Horde 21 actually starts. We'll see how things go. I probably will, though. We'll probably do one more episode where we'll do another quest uh, during the day. Um, but we'll see how things go, like I said. Okay, thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.